Oh shit. Uh, no, literally. Oh shit. Today we have got shit to spread. This is a uh, sludge out of a sewage treatment plant, uh, but it is pelletized sludge, uh, almost um, in the form of a uh, fertilizer. It's not the liquid kind that you would normally associate sludge coming out of a sewage treatment plant. Uh, so this is, uh, in my opinion, a great product for agriculture. Many years ago, we used to have the uh, liquid sludge applied to the land, but the permitting process was some, somewhat cumbersome, and the process itself of having it applied um, was not easy. Uh, you had to have a company do it for you. Uh, they would not always do it at the ideal time. Um, a lot of times uh, they would do it in the winter time when the ground was too wet and leave a mess in the fields. And uh, you were putting on, oh gosh, what were they putting on? Four, five, six tons to the acre of that stuff. And it was just a nasty product. Uh, but now some of the plants have uh, figured out a way to make this a bit easier by pelletizing this sludge and then uh, we as farmers can can uh, apply it to our land ourselves with no permits and it is a great uh, in my opinion as I said a great product we're gonna put about um, a ton to the acre on our corn land now this product has uh, not been as widely available to us the last two years as it had been previous uh, so we're not putting it on all of our corn land. Uh, the analysis of this is a 5-3-0, so 5% nitrogen, 3% phosphorus, and no potash. So I will come back and spread potash, and as I said, we'll put about a ton of this on to the acre. Uh, another benefit of this is uh, it will help keep deer away. The deer don't like the smell. The smell is not that bad. Yes, if you spread it on the field and don't incorporate it um, immediately, the uh, sun and rain will create somewhat of an odor, but um, it's really not that bad in my opinion. Uh, so we will uh, see if we can get this spread. It is, um, it is wet. Uh, we did have three inches of rain this past weekend, so... Um, We'll see. Uh, I've only got a two-wheel drive tractor pulling the, the spreader. Uh, so that is susceptible to getting stuck a lot more easily than a four-wheel drive tractor. But let's see how this goes.
the heck are my manners? I apologize. I was supposed to let you smell this. So here, take a whiff. Mmm, yeah. Can you smell it? That is the smell of money. Because it will make corn. Um, smell again. Ah, uh, yes. So, as you can see, it's really not that offensive. You, uh, you could hardly smell it, could you? Uh, okay. That is how you spread 24 ton of pellets, uh, sludge pellets. It took me about two and a half hours. Um, I've got half the field done. We hope to get another load of uh, pellets this afternoon. Uh, I did not get stuck, luckily. Although in my pickup truck, um, before I started this field, I took the truck through uh, some places that I knew were wet, almost got stuck, had to hit the button. Uh, for four-wheel drive, I did get some video of that, um, so I'll try to show that to you. Just uh, wait one moment. Hold on. Uh, so I thought I was going to have to get the tractor to pull me out, uh, but luckily I did not. I did get out. All four wheels were spinning. The truck is now dirty. I guess I will be washing that this afternoon or tomorrow. Uh, I do have uh, my best friend from Finland coming into town for a week, uh, so I should have everything clean for him. Um, so we've got the pellet spread, and um, I am waiting on another load. We hope to get that this afternoon. Uh, but I think what I've got to do now is uh, go check the air conditioner on the 7120. Uh, it didn't seem to be working this morning. I think it just needs to be charged. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, so, we are off to the next project. See ya!